Hello, welcome back to Opus Magnum, where we will continue our workings at the Van Tassen house. I've had an intro and it went away. We're gonna build airship fuel. That's the thing. And Jill asked for something to put in the Van Tassen airship. Apparently it's out of fuel. They didn't have anything. Oh, that old thing. First time I've heard someone say that old thing in reference to an airship. Last time I remember the airship actually being in the air was the celebration of Frederick's birth. Clearly, Frederick disappointed his grandfather so much they never took it out again. More likely, it's something been out of fuel this whole time. This whole time, are you serious? After the old head alchemist died, we had an interim one for a while who was not great. Alright, so, we have no solutions. Let us see what we need to build. Airship fuel. So we need two salts and two fire. Two salts and two fire, and we've got three reagents. Hmm. Three reagents for two salt and two fire. Well, the simplest thing to do would be probably to make these salt-fire combinations twice, and then combine them into this double shape. So let's see here. I mean, maybe I'll try it with like one piston one just to start, and then we'll work on getting our cycles down. So we're gonna need one of these calcification glyphs. We're gonna need at least one bonding glyph. I'm what happens if I let go of one of these on a space that is empty? So let's grab, let's rotate, and let's let go. And then we'll reset. What happens if I like let go of it just randomly somewhere? Okay, it stays. So I can just put them someplace else if I want to. That's interesting. I don't know if that's useful to us or not, but that's interesting. Let's see about... If we get one here, and one here, we can get, get rid of all these, get rid of these, come on. We can make this this um, double. So let's start with that. One needs to rotate that way. Two needs to rotate that way. Need to grab, grab. Oh wait, right? Grab. Yeah. Okay. It, it needs to be one further on for that. I always hated that. Grab over and reset. Reset. That will get us these. Ooh. Yeah, right. Those are connected now. So since those are, will be connected now, we need another grabber. That'll bring it up through the salt thingy and then over to another connector. So let's see, if we bring it up through the salt thing, then rotate it, can put it into, into there. No, that's not gonna work. We're gonna need this to be on a track, possibly. This is getting complicated quick. Put it on a track, maybe. And track goes over this way. Twice. So let's see, we make the double. Then th number three grabs when this one lets go rotates up one 
these two both repeat their last sequence. Let's see if that works at all. It might not. Then... This one rotates up one. Which makes the salt... Now this one has grabbed the salt. If it rotates up one... Then... Over, then rotates the thing it's holding once. That'll be in this orientation. That'll rotate once and twice. Got to hold all this in my head. So that'll rotate twice, which will interfere with something. Won't it? Okay, let's see if this even does anything. These are connected. This one rotates up, then rotates that twice. Okay, then rotate the arm one more time, and that would rotate the arm one more time and then move once in the plus direction, and reset. Now that's going to get stuff in the way. It's going to get stuff in the way. We need that for later. Let's put that over here somewhere. Because we might, we might need that sequence later on. What we want it to do first is to rotate out by one. That will give us this. We need to put this here. So if we tell it to go in the plus direction, two, that's one, two. Where's that wind up? Okay, grab salt thing, two, one, two, then rotate once. So if we rotate once, it'll wind up here. Let's see, rotate, rotate one more time after that. Where's that get us? Rotate. All right, so I need to do this one more time. We're going to need to rotate twice and then counter-rotate, I think. Let's see where that gets us. Over, 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 rotate, rotate, counter-rotate two times. Counter-rotate two times. This is getting too complicated. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go back. We're going to go back once we figure this out and see if we can, can make it more streamlined. Counter-rotate twice. That'll get us in the right position. Then reset. Then, after we've reset, we grab. That should get us something, right? Then reset, grab. That's gotten us the molecule. Okay, that got us the molecule here. Then once we have the molecule there, what do we do with it? <laughs> this is a question. Oh, also it didn't get us the molecule there. We messed that one up. Okay, so we got the one. Good job. Then... Yeah, fine. I don't care. I don't care. We got the one here. We rotate it. We rotate it twice. Then we should just rotate the arm one more time. That should get us where we need to be with that, right? Then go up there, grab, rotate, rotate, rotate. Then once in the plus direction. Once in the plus direction, and then reset. That 
that connects it. That will connect them. Then if we go in the plus direction a couple more times, where will that put us? Okay, grab, put that one there. Grab, that one should go there. That's what we need. Okay, then we need to rotate, counter-rotate, and we have done it. So then we just need to rotate, counter-rotate, reset, and that should make the whole thing in a ridiculous number of cycles for way too much, with way too many components, in, in way too long. But we've done it. We've done it. Now I need to make it more streamlined, because this is ridiculous. But at least we figured it out. At least we got it going. There, there it is. This is this is even taking too long to watch. Or even sped up. This is going ungodly slow. Oof. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess the cost is lower than average. That's nice. Areas like not too bad either. Let's go back to editing because this is this is ridiculous. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Clear, clear. Just clear this. Just get rid of that. That, that was terrible. Let's see if we can make some kind of vertical assembly thing. We've got three. We've got three reagents here. Let's just, let's throw cost out the window. Cost and area are not a concern right now. We are trying to make this go as efficiently as possible. We're trying to make it the fewest number of cycles we can means we need all three of these on the board because before I was only working with like two. Hmm. So if I have this orientation These can push. These can grab and swing over. If I'm gonna do that, I may as well move them through the salt glyph on the way. So one, one needs to grab, push, and reset. Two needs to grab, push. Don't reset yet. Grab and push, and then you'll both be holding one. Maybe I'll be able to do something with that. Let's see. Then four and three, so three is moving counterclockwise, so three needs to grab, counterclockwise and counterclockwise then reset because that one's done and then you need to do the other way so D D and C I don't I don't there's no rhyme or reason to this so that should get us this that's gotten us this You know what? You know what I did wrong here? I should have kept these in their like orient proper orientation. Like if I can put this one here. And then this one here, so that this one 
moves through on this side. Then, when we get to the end, we have them in their proper orientation already. Yeah. I could not achieve this with this or with this thingy at all, could I? Don't think so, but maybe I could do something weird here. What if I put this here? And salt would be up there. So I'd have salt here. Okay, let's just experiment with this a little bit. So I've got them all in the proper orientation with salt like up, up this way. So if I put this here and made three rotate one more time, and then had two reset, when one pushed one more time, now we have created this thing. So now we've actually made the thing. What would happen? Wappen. What would happen? What would happen? Uh, three is now here. What would happen if we had this one reset and three rotate one more time? Where would that get us? So I think we can do this if we put this over here, get rid of this one, and then we, um, how do I, how do I pan? Okay, everything moved, moved down one so I can see it. There we go. And then we just have three rotate the payload by one and then everything resets. Does this do something? Yes. It might even be very quick. Look at that go. Oh wow, below average cycles, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. Below average cycles. Ha! <laughs> I kinda wanna try to do it with one, with one like pusher thingy. This is cool though. This, this thing's neat, we did a cool thing here. I like it. This is just neat, I'm gonna watch this for a second. I love it, I love it. Okay, let's do the next one, and then I'll come back to this and maybe try to do like a one piston run of like everything, because that could be kind of fun. Okay, uh, continue. How do we... Alright, leave. We've done it! Ha! Simple enough. The Van, Van Tassen airship can take to the skies again. Sure, as long as we find someone to pilot it. Doesn't seem too complicated. How about me? How about Captain Gilt or Frederick? That's a disturbing shot. Maybe we should pin the airship is still out of fuel. Yes. All right, precision machine oil. Oh dear, oh dear, what is it now? Apparently Armand arranged for Frederick to go on a date with a young lady from another house, oh dear. <laughs> now I have to make some machine oil. You what? For the observatory, Frederick tried to take her there but everything was rusted solid, oh of course. Even better, Clara the young lady is from House Soria. He was probably hoping to preserve, to prove our observatory is just as good as theirs. Oh, she must have been tremendously impressed all around. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. This should be pretty, this should be pretty easy. All right, we've got lead and we need tin. So we need to Okay, we just need to connect these. Hmm. 
So the first thing we're going to need to do is make the lead into tin, which means we're going to need to do this once. And make it tin. Let's uh, see what we wind up with here. Let's use a extendomatic. No, for the. Eh. Use an extendomatic for the tin. Or for the lead. So that we have it in this arm and we can maybe do something else with it. And then we'll just use a normal arm here. And then we got this reagent and this thing over here. We we're gonna need this to do to make tin twice and then take that off, take the that off somewhere. Hmm. So if I want to do this in fewer cycles, I need this to make tin twice. move it to another area and we're gonna need like two of these things or maybe just one yeah I think just one let's let's try this to start and then put the reagent there and grab grab the earth bring it down Okay, so what we need to do first. First off, one and two need to grab and place. So grab, grab, go um, forward, back. No, I think I need to switch those. Right? No, I was wrong. Okay. Okay, stop it. Uh, D. Oh, really? Really colliding. What about this? Now they don't collide. Fine. Ugh. What a dumb thing. They both need to reset. They both need to reset. Then three needs to grab. Three can grab and then rotate one up. Four should have moved already. Four should have grabbed and rotated down one to be holding the earth there. Okay, I moved this one too early. Didn't give the reaction time to happen. Grab over two. Right, over two and then reset. When that resets, we rotate the eh, reagent twice. So now we have it in this orientation. Turn. So now we will have this this connected to one tin over in this like rotated. So it'll connect the tin and the tin will rotate over twice. Then we have all these do their thing again. And as soon as this one's done, we have this one rotate counterclockwise once and reset. That should work. Let's go. Oh, crud. Stop it. You need to rotate one more time to get all the way around, and then you're fine. And rotate and done. Nice. Nice, we did it. That was an easy that was a pretty easy one with this. Let's see how our cycles are, because they're probably awful. I just want to see how our cycles and cost compare. Everything's a little above average except for area. Cycles could be down slightly. Now it's interesting that cycles could be down slightly. How could we how could we knock our cycles down? What 
What if we moved this all over by one? Would that do something? Because then you wouldn't have to rotate twice. And this whole thing could, could be like over here. Ow. Okay, uh, maybe you should go over there. Three, and reverse your direction on this. Okay, that looks like it's moving a little more efficiently. It's probably about as efficient as we can get with this setup. Nice. Cycles are exactly average. It's pretty nice. I'd, I'd like to get them lower, but I don't know if we're going to do that. Return to the menu. What's the next thing we're going to do? Fregitate the urgency ought to go better now. Maybe here and Clara could have it do over. I don't think it works like that. Do you see any other choices? For Clara Sora, I believe House Carvin has a young man around Frederick's age. Maybe that's what Armand is trying to prevent. No. Quite likely, pity he only has Frederick to work with. One can only play the game with the pieces he has. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, what's this? Sigma's Garden. Some kind of game. Huh. Transmission is just giving me many fond memories of playing Sigmar's Garden. Sigmar's what? Never played Sigmar's Garden. I thought everyone knew this game. You put marbles in a certain pattern. Marbles? <laughs> Isn't that what these are? They're elemental proxies, glass spheres that represent various types of atoms. Little glass spheres are commonly known as marbles. Haha. <laughs> we never call them marbles. Anyone that's not a highly trained alchemist, that's what they are. Now I'm going to teach you how to play Sigmar's garden or what. Fine, I suppose. Goal is to clear the board by matching marbles. You select a free marble, then pick up a matching marble and clear the, clear the board. Okay. The marble's only free if it has three connected open spaces to it. The open spaces have to be next to each other. Luckily, spaces of board count as empty spaces. As empty space. The four cardinal elements match with those of other types, or with salt, so you can match salt with another salt. Okay. Vale and Moors will only match with their opposite. Okay. Um, so the marbles met all, and the marbles and the metals match with quicksilver, but you can only match them in the order of their transmutation from lead to gold. Okay. Um, so we have, we have like a, I don't understand this game. So we can, uh, match, match, match components. Can I, do I move stuff? I don't appear to move things. And I don't seem to be able to do anything with this. New game? Oh, there they go. Um, so I have to like, I have to try to match, match bits, salt, and that. Did I win? Um, that's, what's that, silver? No, that's quicksilver. Quicksilver and something, salt and fire? Quicksilver, quicksilver. No, um, feel like I'm stuck somehow and I don't know what to do. Oh, those two match. These two match. Oh, and it unlocks the ones next to them. So you have to plan ahead to try to make sure that you get a matching something. Okay, and then when you run out of moves, I guess you're out. Salt and that, and then I think we are, I think we're out, like, matched out here. I don't see a, I don't see a way to continue. Unless I'm very misunderstanding this game. But it's not telling me if I don't have any matches or anything. This is kind of frustrating if it won't tell me if I have matches or not. Win a game to continue optional. Doesn't seem optional. Alright, we've only got one match here. 
Then we've got these two fires. Then we've got water, water. That gives me a lead. And if I match this with the salt, that didn't unlock anything? Crud, now it looks like, okay, we've got those two opposites. Now we've got a silver. Okay, I have to match these in order with Quicksilver. There's a Quicksilver there, but I don't have a day. Got these two, and these two. And these are unlocking something. Okay, so the last one I touch is what gets, what unlocks stuff. Grab that one and that one. And then I've got a night and day. Neither of those unlocked anything. I've got a fire and fire. Quicksilver and metal. Metal and Quicksilver, didn't unlock much. Quicksilver and Metal, I don't understand how this unlocking works at all. This is a very strange continuation of this game. I don't have any Quicksilver. Quicksilver and Metal, Fire and Fire, Light and Dark, Light and Dark, Salt, those, salt, salt, gold. Fun, isn't it? No, it's not. I have no clue what I was doing the entire, literally the entire time. <laughs> not at all, it can be works. The Cardinal Alchemist, for example, it's just a little amusement. We would play as children used to sneak in here and play when the alchemists were away. They were totally unobserved near the transmutation engine. Only use the marbles, calm, calm yourself. <laughs> They aren't marbles, they're representations of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. They're little glass spheres. I'll flick one at you. <laughs> Stop it, you can't play with the delicate equipment like this. <laughs> they're far cheaper than the rest of your kit, you know, being that they're marbles. I still appreciate it if you don't treat them so casually. <laughs> well, we did it for years, you really had no idea about Signar's garden. Not at all. Why, in the u why would the university bother to teach us something so frivolous? win 10 games to continue. All right, let's try one more because I, I don't know if I understand this. It's some kind of solitaire. It's like, it's some kind of, some kind of solitaire. So that didn't unlock anything. Why didn't that unlock anything? Now I'm stuck. Why didn't that unlock anything? I'm not understanding this at all. Not, not, nothing. Why didn't that unlock stuff? That didn't unlock stuff. Why didn't it unlock stuff? And now I can hit the metals. Gold's in the middle, so I guess that's my final goal, is to get to the gold. I just don't understand how it's unlocking or locking things. It's really weird and difficult to understand what's happening. Salt, metal, salt earth, fire, fire, salt water, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, salt water, gold. Okay, one more. I, I don't want to spend the entire time doing this. One more to see if I'm getting it. I don't appear to have any moves. Oh wait, yes, whatever. And f Earth. That'll unlock a fire, which unlocks a light, light dark. This one will hopefully unlock some Earth. Yes, don't have any metals unlocked yet. Light dark, light dark, Earth, Earth. Still no metals unlocked. Air, air, fire, 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 lead, water, water, uh, water, water, air, nothing. Dang it. Silver, water, water, and we're stuck. I don't, okay. I'm not understanding this. Whatever. Whatever. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like. I mean, we can, we can move on to health tonic. I still want to do some more of these. I might do some of these off screen. 
because I'm curious what I get. But I'll, you know, health tonic and stamina potion are the next two for House Van Tassen. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like so that I make more things like this. And if you really did, you can, of course, subscribe for all of the things that I do. My name is Gibb. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon.